Hi guys, welcome back to Social Studies Lecture 2 and we are continuing on the family. In our lecture outline today, we are looking at the differences in family types in the Caribbean and the differences in family unions in the Caribbean. Let's start with the different family types in the Caribbean. We have nuclear family, reconstituted family, single parent family, extended family, and sibling households. Let's begin this lecture by thinking of an imaginary couple and their children. Let's say Carl and Disha. And they live together with their children Kevin and Carla. Let's use this imaginary couple to really exemplify what we're going to talk about today. Carl and Disha living together with their children Kevin and Carla would be considered a nuclear family. This type of family has both parents, father and mother along with their biological children living in one household. Extended family. The extended family is a family unit consisting of an extended version of the nuclear family. It consists of parents or parents and children living with maternal or paternal relatives such as aunts, uncles, cousins, in-laws, and sometimes close friends and colleagues. Bringing forth our example again, we would have Carl and Disha with their children, Carla and Kevin, living in a household with their relatives, such as Kevin's mother or Disha's mother or their aunts or their sisters and so on. So it's an extended version of the nuclear family. Suppose Kevin and Carla decided to get a divorce or so one of the partners died. That would leave one parent, hence forming a single parent family. In a single parent family, there is one adult with one or more children living in one household. This can be a single mother living with her children or a single father living with his children and the single parent family is another example of a common family type in the caribbean forming from the breakdown of most extended and nuclear family now suppose carl and disha decides to move abroad in order to seek a better life for kevin and carla while leaving kevin to take care of his younger sister carla then we will form a sibling household. A sibling is each of two or more children or offspring having one or both parents in common. That would be a brother or a sister. Hence, a sibling household is made up of children living by themselves due to death of parents, parents abandoning them, parents moving or migrating to other countries, and the eldest usually is the most responsible individual and he or she works and provide for the younger children. Reconstituted family. Hmm. Suppose Carl and Disha decides to get a divorce. Carl later moves on and decides to marry Sandy. They now form what is called a reconstituted family. And reconstituted mean having been formed again. Hence, the reconstituted family has two partners living in one household, sharing parental duties for one or more children, but only one of them is the biological parent. Let's move on to the family unions in the Caribbean. And we have consensual or common law union, visiting relationships, and legal marriage. Let's start with the common law union. Common law union 
is one in which the couples live together for a period of time and holds themselves out to friends, family, and the community as being married. However, they have never been through a formal ceremony. Visiting relationship. In a visiting relationship, partners do not live together in the same household. However, there are romantic, intimate, or sexual relations. Legal marriage. A marriage is a legally and socially sanctioned union, usually between a man and a woman. This is regulated by laws, rules, customs, beliefs, and attitudes that prescribe the rights and duties of the partners and accord status of their offspring. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for lecture three and remember to subscribe to my channel and share with another social studies student.